Hey there! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, then I would like to welcome you to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell on to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Hoping to be constant. Anyways, in today's video, as you already know for the title, from the title, that I'm gonna put a full glam makeup on my face using just my hands. Gross, right? Or maybe it's exciting. I don't know. You be the judge. Comment down below. Anyways, without further ado, I'll just move on to the challenge. And this is not the look that I've done. Of course, I'm gonna remove all this makeup right now. I was filming something else. And now I'm gonna remove it all and put some craps again. Sorry. Let's go to the video. So, all bare face, all cleaned up from the makeup. The white is not painted properly because there is no point. I'm gonna put all those scraps over again. Anyways, now I'm gonna start with the most easiest part is a moisturizer. And of course, you need to use your hand for applied moisturizer. So for moisturizer, I'm using this one, which is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gem. And of course, I'm gonna use my hand for that. Only if all the steps were as easy as that, right? Moving on, I'll be using a primer and for this I'm using is Maybelline Superstay Primer and this is my least favorite primer, so why not? Anyways, if you one drop here, one drop here, one drop here, the one drop doesn't make a difference, but anyways, you got it, what I'm doing. Hmm. And now the drama starts. I'm gonna move on to foundation. Our foundation I'm using this is, which is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. And let's go for it. I'm just gonna take a few little, you know, I, oh, okay. Honestly, I never tried using foundation with my hand and looks like it's not bad. Yep, yep, definitely. So yeah, I think from now onwards I'm gonna use foundation with my hand and not with the brushes or sponge because I think that's way easier and well applied. Anyways, moving on to the next step, that is uh, concealer. And for the concealer, I'm using this one, which is Usha's Liquid Concealer Correct Right. Oh, that's a French word, I think, or Spanish, I don't know. Anyways, uh, <sighs> this is gonna be a little fun, I think. Oh. By the way guys, one more thing I would like to state is my eyebrows, I'm not gonna do it with my hand. I mean, obviously that is absolutely impossible to do so. But yeah, I'm gonna do it off camera and I'm gonna do it just by myself because there is no point of letting my eyebrows be a part of this challenge. Now I'm gonna go off camera, do my eyebrows and be right back so now i stopped in between i'm thinking that at least the blending part of the concealer for my eyebrows i should be doing that in front of the camera because i literally fail even doing it with the brush so i think it has to be something exciting anyways So for the liquid product, it was really easy for me to apply it all over my face just with my hand. Now the fun part comes is applying the powder pigmented products on my face. I'm going to start with translucent powder. And for that, I'm going to be using this one, which is Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I have no idea I'm gonna, how I'm going to apply it on my face, but let's give it a try. I'm going to take some amount on my finger. I mean, not as bad as I expected it to be. I feel I'm so clumsy. Sometimes these days I'm actually really so clumsy about that I'm doing this challenge where I'm applying full face of glam just with my hands. Imagine the amount of clumsiness I'm gonna have. Clumsiness, if that's even a word. Ouch. Okay. I have set my eye base, my concealer. Oh, I need to add a little on the cheek because the cheek feels literally wet. 
for the next step i'm gonna be doing is my eyeshadow and first i thought that i'll be i'll be i'll, I'll be going with some neutral shades and that's gonna be easier for me but i think who wants to see it easy right so i'm gonna take is james charles palette which is literally the most colorful palette that i have and instead of the neutral tones i'm gonna go for is the colorful bright colors anyways i'm thinking um I did one look actually which was with purple so I should do something that is with uh, red and blue no red, red and blue is not a good combination I should go for blue and a bit of purple what do you say anyways whatever it is I'm just gonna go one or two shades I guess just for the purpose that I want it to be easy anyways I'm gonna go for blue and a little of shimmery blue let's go for it <laughs> so I'm gonna take this shade right here I'm gonna pop up the color code name here because I'm not sure what is it. It's I it's something it's like um jasmine jasmine princess jasmine color that's what I call it. Ouch wait. So oh, see just because the translucent powder was in yellow tone, now this blue is coming as green. Wonderful job for Hema. I'm gonna go for a darker shade right now and uh, I'll go for this shade right here popping up the name of the shade and I'll go for this one a little on the outer corner okay this eye it's not blending because I put all the pigments in just one spot spots spot I'm gonna go for is the shimmery blue shade that they have is here it's a shimmery blue okay I'm gonna go for this shade right here and I'm gonna use this finger oh my god that's a lot of product interesting very oh my god actually the shimmery shade is always the best when you apply it with your finger You see, now that was something stupid that I did. I mean, now my shimmer is darker than the color that I used on the other outer corners. Like, oh, can I go back? No. Now I have to do the same exact thing on purpose on the other eye. But one thing I must say is I took a really, really, really little amount of pigment and boo, this shade is literally doing a wonderful job over here. I have a complaint about this palette, James Charles palette. Shimmery shades in specific, they are really um, tough to come out for your eyes. They're really tough to be applied on your eyes even when you apply with your brushes or especially with your fingertip they have that attitude of not being in your eyes like if that makes sense so anyway but this shade is i think i have used it before or i think no i'm not sure and i don't really remember but this shade is doing a wonderful job here i think i should go for a darker shade on this side so that like this is a bit adjusted with this so that the outer corner is a bit adjusted with the other blue color that I have applied. So I think I will go for this shade right here. I think the shade name is Benny. It's not bad according to I mean I as when I was a new new person using makeup I did even worse than that so I think this is well appreciated <laughs> no not really moving on to the next so now the next step is gonna be a mascara and this one is by the essence get big lashes a volume boost mascara and you really think I should be applying mascara with my hand? 
I mean, already my hair fall decreased and my lash fall increased and above that I'm gonna do something else that. But let's go for it. Only if that actually makes a difference. Not bad. Nothing is seen, but not bad. At least it's not ruined like just like my eyeshadow did. So for the next step, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be contouring my face, and I'm gonna use this one, which is Nip and Fab Contour Palette, and. I don't know what am I gonna do with this. I'll go for this, this, no, no, no. I'll go for this shade for contouring and this one for blushing. But I don't really think I need to go for blushing because that's too risky. But anyways, go for it. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be. Gotta do my hair with my bare hand. It's not Friday night. Bomb.com. Now, now the problem is blusher. I don't know why did I even choose to go for blusher, but as I see it already, I'm gonna use this two finger because this finger is totally gone. So I'm gonna use this, uh, this two fingers. You get it? And the next step is gonna be a lipstick because I'm gonna skip highlighter. I broke my highlighter. So I'm gonna go for the next step, that is lipstick, lipstick, yes, lipstick. For lipstick, this is a random lipstick that says AH Makeup Artist Velvet Lipstick and this is long lasting and I love this shade right here because this is too velvety. And too velvety, I mean too velvety. Anyways, I'm not gonna have direct contact with this one with my hand, so I'm gonna do is take a brush in between. So I'm gonna do is take this brush right here and take some shades on the brush. I think the velvet color will definitely not go with this look, but there is no point of making this look any better because I already ruined it. Oh, the velvet looks pink now. Oh, oh, wait, 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 that turned good. Better than I expected. Anyways, this is the final glam that I did just using my hand and let's not talk about it. You be the judge, leave your comment in the description box, leave your comment in the comment box below. Oh my god, my mind just went off. Anyways, thank you for staying with me all the way till here and if you like this video then make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel right here and hit the notification bell on to be notified whenever i upload a new video take care have fun see you in the next one bye